Oh my gosh. Hello everyone. <laughs> Hang on. I need a moment man. Like I was I was really like excited for this to happen, but like now that we're actually here, I'm kinda nervous. But you know it's it's just the first it's my first ever time like doing something like this, so it'll just come natural to me. Hello, how is everyone doing today? Let's go. Let's go. Good, good, good. This is a podcast, so like, you don't really have to look at the video. Oh, you're playing Seven Days. That's really that's that's nice. That's nice. I I should join you guys sometime. Just stopped playing Dota. I don't understand how you guys are able to play Dota. Like, I don't have the like i'm not i don't have the brain cells to play dota if that makes sense anyways welcome to the first ever episode of the dot cast that was my brother hyping me up in the background i don't really know what topic to talk about today but we'll just i'm just gonna wing it i guess um yeah, we raised the goal faster than I assumed. Then again, I made it pretty low. I even asked Kala, like, yo, don't you think it's a little bit too low? And then he was like, no, it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. Hi, nice, Mark. Welcome. Anyways, the topic I guess we'll talk about today, like, I guess a topic I've been like thinking of is like how like the things that have happened like I <laughs> contacted the camera <laughs> I know like how I've been like ever since this whole like quarantine thing started like I would have never imagined like I would become a a streamer or like reach twitch affiliate this year but like it happened like that's like one of the things that i didn't think would happen but you know surprises i guess um thank god i guess like always be open the quarantine journey yeah like kala said um, I started, like, this quarant- Like, I didn't expect it to go this long, man, but I guess it was, like, sort- Like, there are really ups and downs to it. Like, if I'm being honest, like, my headspace hasn't- Is, like, compared to before it started, isn't the best, but Hey, it's okay, we can all- Like, I've been powering through it, you know, because, like, the gang, my friends, family is what kept me, like, sane, I guess, through this all. Hang on. Give me a sec, chat. <laughs> Sorry, I needed a moment to, like, collect my thoughts because like if i'm being honest there there have been like some periods like where like it's been a bit pretty hard on me mentally like because um i tend to like overthink sometimes when i get like you know like nervous and stuff I guess I want to talk about my mental state during this entire thing to bring awareness. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see where the podcast goes from here. But like there, I watched like a thing like on Netflix the other day. It's um, it was a comedy special by Bo Burnham called Inside and I guess I resonated with it a lot because, like, 
it was made during the course of the pandemic and how like your your mental state i guess can go down like a bit because you're just stuck inside you know like i felt like i i took a lot of things like for granted like like basic stuff like i didn't even know that like i really like i needed them in my life to bring like balance and stuff to it <laughs> this is just surprisingly getting pretty deep early on man <laughs> not gonna lie but yeah oh thank you for the lurk Charles. all right all right uh <laughs> Anyways, let's move to like a lighter topic for now because that was getting pretty deep for a start. Um, I really actually want to stream like there. There's like this. There's a few games on like the PlayStation. That's like a PlayStation exclusive that I'd like to stream like. Persona 5 is one of them. Like, I would want to stream that down the road. But my brother just looked at me when I mentioned that because that's one of his favorite games. Like, I feel like that would be fun to stream with chat and all, but I I would need a capture card, which I do not have at the moment. But yeah, I have so much games that I would like to play on stream because like, to me, streaming makes playing playing video games more fun because like i feel like i'm not experiencing it alone you know you know what i mean chat like with you guys it feels so like it feels more fun because i feel like we could like we're like bonding over similar interests and you guys like enjoy watching it <laughs> Oh my gosh, AJL, what's good? So we had like a community challenge called where if they completed it, I would do this podcast thing. And we did it yesterday. Why don't you lay some soft beats? Oh, true. Thank you, Nice Mark, for the recommendation. Let me check the playlist you sent, the stream free stuff on the server. Mm, here we go. Stream safe beats. Thank you for this. This is really such a useful thing. Is that good? Hello, Gigi. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Gigi was like, I was kind of like mind blown that gg was like subbed yesterday like he subbed it at such a perfect timing too like i was being chased by a killer in dead by daylight when he subbed and then i said something like i can't thank you properly right now because i'm being chased but yeah gg thank you for the sub man i really really appreciate it um st ever since i started streaming too i felt like i've become a little bit more creative because i'm always constantly thinking about like ideas for the channel and like what what i should do like what channel points should i add and what games should i play like it really opened my eyes to like multiple stuff and yeah it's really been fun honestly like I actually always wanted to start streaming, but like I always kept putting it off for whatever reason. I'm really glad like I jumped out of my comfort zone to really start it and build like my channel and my community. I feel when you want to join on the dot guest, but not on first episode. <laughs> Succeeding episodes, I will have guests. And yes, Kala, you were one of the planned guests on it comfort zones be like and yeah and like it made me learn that jumping out of your comfort zone also is like 
even though it's uncomfortable, it's very important because if you don't like risk it, you won't be able to experience like a lot of things. I think I should take out the <laughs> the sound alerts for this thing, chat. <laughs> I think I'm gonna remove the sound alerts on this one, chat. Not gonna lie. Hang on. Oh, I forgot I'm on stream. Oof. Let's go. I feel like I should have taken off the sound alerts. Whatever. We'll do that later. <laughs> I can't do it right now because I'm on stream and I'd have to change the scene. It slipped my mind that I was streaming and I realized I was like, oh, oh shoot. <laughs> but yeah. Uh really Yeah, what was I oh yeah, about comfort zones. Like I realized like there have been many moments in my life where like I haven't been able to experience like opportunities to their fullest because I was nervous. Bruh. GG. <laughs> the perfectly timed too. How do you do it, GG? I, I can't... Uh, like, it's not in my audio mixer. I don't know what to do here. Uh, This is awkward already. Scuffed start, but it's just the pilot. We're still learning things, chat. We're still learning things. Yeah, many opportunities that I haven't experienced, like, to its fullest. I think desktop audio and sound alert. Oh, no, desktop audio was muted. Pain. <laughs> My desktop audio was muted. <laughs> there we go, chat. That was so scuffed. I blame my parents for not letting me develop. Yeah, that that can be an issue like in some aspects where they don't really let you reach like do some certain opportunities because like I guess they, but at the end of the day, your parents just want what's best for you, you know. I'm gonna play Valo with friends. All right, GG, thank you lurking just leave it on the background or something man disappears but yeah it's all right like someday don't worry about it you'll get there someday man that's all i can say i'm not the best at giving advice like that <laughs> and yeah hmm i'm thinking of a story that i could tell chat like, I feel like I could tell a story that would be pretty funny. Hmm. I really, like, I had it all planned out in my head. Like, oh, I'm gonna talk about this. I'm gonna talk about that. But then when you're, I'm actually here, I'm like, shoot. <laughs> it's okay, we're learning. It's a learning process. But yeah, I'm really having so much fun right now with this whole podcast setup. I can talk to chat. I can talk about whatever I want, man, huh? Wait, my... Don't worry, Skullpat. We will carry you in Valo. Sheesh! Thank you so much. Valorant's such a fun game, man. Like... At first, I wasn't really open to trying Valorant because, like, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna stick, I'm gonna be loyal to CSGO. Like, I was a really big CSGO player, like, last year. Like, that was all I played. And it was solo queue, too, and it wasn't... <laughs> Didn't really help, like, mentally and stuff. It's all fun and... Um, Dots lore, yeah. I was a CSGO player like last year, and like I was like so into it. I was like also planning then, like, oh, I should start streaming CSGO, like, that will be the main <laughs> focus of my streams. Thank you, Comic Alt, for the follow. Welcome, welcome, just in time. 
skulls not <laughs> but yeah i was planning to become a cs go streamer like last year but then when i was preparing for it my online classes started and my time was fully occupied by that and it never happened and eventually i ended up quitting cs go and playing valorant instead which i'm glad i did i guess because valorant is like more accessible i guess like it's more beginner friendly and more casual in my opinion because with cs you have to like commit so much hours into it to like learn lineups for smokes and different type of stuff just <laughs> yeah uh opinion on mmos you don't have to pay for comp lol exactly and eh, opinion on mmos uh when i was a kid i was really big into mmos actually like i played a lot of I don't know if you could count it as an MMO, but you chat, you know the game Ragnarok? I was really like into that because like my Nice Mark played it. Like when I, when I was a kid, my dad, Nice Mark, and Nice Mark played it a lot, as well as Darls. So yeah. Hey Yabby, welcome. Thank you for the lurk. CS go pro. Actually, GG, last year, like I was so into CSGO. Back on CSGO again, because that's <laughs> lore, I guess. I was really so much into CSGO that I was like thinking like, oh, maybe if I commit so much time to it, I can actually become a pro player. <laughs> Even Kala knows about this like last year. <laughs> but then when I tried like fight like playing face it where you're like that's like the gateway i guess to becoming like high level cs i started trying playing face it after like a few days of playing it i was like nah this isn't for me <laughs> anyways back on my thoughts on mmo sorry this is so scattered guys it's like raw like no planning whatsoever opinion uh mmos are great like they're really great but i feel like for me to get into an mmo i have to be like hooked from the start you know because you have to like commit a lot of time and effort to getting like high level gear and stuff you know what i mean i know kella asked that because he's addicted to fantasy star online too <laughs> which isn't it's an okay mmo don't give up not so esl1 is just a step away <laughs> I'm thinking I've actually played a few Counter Strike games this morning and it's it feels nice coming back to. Feels like home. Maybe I'll start grinding it again, who knows. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's my opinion. But yeah, my opinion on MMOs is it's good, but some are better than others, Kala. Yeah, chat can ask questions by the way, like for this podcasting like chat can ask questions q and a type beat <laughs> like podcast mm. oh wait my crowley is uh somewhere where you shouldn't be crowley come back he'll chill with us for a bit chat uh so if chat doesn't know yet people new people here this is my dog crowley i got him like last year like around september i think i actually got two dogs another thing that like the pandemic brought me i guess are my two dogs one is a golden retriever and this one it's a shih tzu. Say hi. But yeah. Because of like during the pandemic, my my parents thought about like, you know, why don't we get dogs? And like me and my brother were like, that's a great idea. I guess the theme of this first episode of Dotcast is Dotsu lore. <laughs> my lore. 
like what i've been up to before streaming i guess that's a common theme with what i've been saying so far in terms of stories sorry uh... <laughs> oh no oh shoot it popped out it actually popped out <laughs> But yeah, that's the Lord. We got him last year. Oh no, he's like starting to get angry, chat. I, I'll put him down now. <laughs> you know, if you notice that like weird bump on his stomach, like he was born with that. Like it's not like serious or anything. It's just like extra fat, I guess. Yeah, it's like uh, extra fat that the vet said that we didn't have to remove it because it wasn't harmful to him at all so yeah that's that was my dog crowley pretty cute dog but you chat you haven't seen how he acts when he's hyper datsu the legend of csgo dragon slaying gold nova master i have so much like experiences with solo qcs go gg that i will never ever forget and i feel like those types of moments could have only happened in solo queue. Many toxicity, many like friendships, I guess. Like I was actually another one more lore about me because CSGO was really a big part of me like last year. And I guess it helped me develop a bit personality wise. I was actually in this like clan in CSGO. <laughs> yeah. I was really that into it, you know? <laughs> Hang on. I need a moment. Yeah, I was like in this clan. We didn't really get that far though. Because they... They started arguing over a skin. Yeah, a skin. A knife to be exact. I feel like... Man, I feel like some people take, like, virtual items way too seriously. Like, they spend, like, thousands or mi sometimes, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars in, like, items. Like, I don't know. I mean, if I had the money, I guess I'd do it. <laughs> but I don't. Because I can't. <laughs> but yeah. CS is such a great game. Wow, why am I talking about Counter-Strike on my first time? podcast more lore hmm oh you chat you want to hear like a funny story about like my golden retriever like it happened like a f last year or a few months ago but it was a pretty f it's a pretty funny story but i was kind of upset with him when it happened <laughs> anyways i'll tell you about it my golden wait let me pull up a picture for you chat of my golden retriever let me find that image it's like that image anyways it was anyways i'll tell you the story as i'm finding the picture so like one time it was what the dog doing what the dog doing <laughs> anyways like one time last year we had there was like this huge crazy thun typhoon thunderstorm of like like it was so strong like signal number three or four i guess and like someone like we were like fixing the house like bringing stuff inside like to keep it safe from harm and all that other jazz you usually do during a typhoon when like suddenly out of the blue my golden retriever his name is cast by the way short for castiel my golden retriever yeah he decided that it would be a great idea to run outside <laughs> when it was storming <laughs> so like me and my mom like we we we, <laughs> we chased him like a good like a couple of yards like down the street <laughs> in the pouring rain where the wind was super hard too and <laughs> we were just chasing him 
<laughs> like it was so scary at the time but now i just find it funny like because dogs don't like i guess like they don't think like whether it's safe or not you know <laughs> that was so intense like i was genuinely scared that something bad was gonna happen to i guess all of us who were chasing him but he everything turned out okay and then like i'm looking for the image right now but my mom took such like a funny image of him like he was like wet from the rain and mud and then he was just smiling at the camera as if he did nothing wrong i'm trying to find it right now chat <laughs> give me a second <laughs> dogs really like it's kind it's gonna sound pretty cheesy but like my dogs really brought a lot of like chaos and light into my life like i love them so much man my dogs matter like mean the world to me you know hmm i'm looking for him i'm looking for that picture i can't find a picture of it chat I'm trying to find the image because it's literally so priceless. And like, I hate it when like, it starts storming in my hometown. I don't yeah like in my town like i really don't like it when it storms because like the signal goes out like the cell signal the wi-fi the power they all go out for like a few days to a few weeks like a few days to two weeks yeah it was not it's not a fun experience whenever it storms <laughs> uh let me just show you a picture of my the golden retriever dog i was talking about i can't find the exact image of like when he was out in the rain and like he's wet and like he's smiling water, water. thank you kala needed that water's empty but i'll refill it in a bit that's lord <clears throat> i really can't find that picture chat I, I'll, I'll try one more time if i can't find it i'll just show you a picture of the golden retriever okay okay i can't f i really can't find the picture so just take this picture of him as compensation for it oh it's so big <laughs> that's the gold that's my golden retriever cast i can't bring him upstairs or so yeah i'd show him on camera if i could but i can't like i can't bring him upstairs i'll refill it now okay i will i will Give me a second. more dot sular um dot sular i'm thinking but yeah when when the whole like thing of becoming a csgo streamer didn't pan out i kind of focused on my studies 
I focused on my studies mainly because it was my graduating year and I wanted to have like high grades and yeah so whatever fast forward to around oh another thing why I didn't pursue like streaming CSGO was because my old computer broke down like mid-year last year anyway fast forward to around january of this year or december whatever month then loyman and nice mark and darls i think they started streaming and i i was thinking like i really want to do that too you know so i was like thinking about it i kept putting it off like oh i'll do it soon then the soon became months the soon and the months became more months until around it was that i'm trying to th may like around late may i was like you know what screw it and then i streamed like my first ever vod it's not available on twitch anymore but i still have it on my computer it was like a really really scuffed left for dead stream like there were frame drops stuttering and everything i wasn't talking to chat properly like it was so scuffed and raw and like i rewatched it a few days ago like and i realized like wow i've come so far in like the span of like a few months like i've come so far like i'm improving you know and i love and seeing like that improvement just inspires me to keep going and i'm getting really comfortable with it like i feel like i'm way more natural now when i talk to chat compared to my first vod and my first few streams like i feel like i'm more comfortable you know that makes sense probably doesn't but yeah so yeah that's how I guess that's the way I became streaming. I just got inspired by other people. Um, Fidatsu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. That's pretty much my lore. On how I started streaming. But. I guess my biggest influences. Like. It, excluding gang gang members and stuff because like live on corner and nice mark have been one of my and darls have been like one of my biggest influences to start this whole thing excluding them like if we're talking about other streamers in twitch or in com and content creation in general my biggest like i guess otv like otv was one of my influences offline tv specifically which member to be specific <laughs> michael reeves like he makes he doesn't stream that much on twitch but he makes like such good content on youtube and like i guess it inspired me in a way even though what I, we what i do compared to his youtube videos is completely different That's probably one of my biggest like content creation influences. Crackhead.mp4. <laughs> but why? <laughs> oh, he's talking about Michael Reeves, I think. Oh. I'm not. Oh yeah, chat. While we're here, I thought I'd just disclose right now. I'm not a dead by daylight addict. But but But, I have been playing it more than other games recently. But I'm not an addict. I am not a Dead by Daylight addict. I had to mention that once for chat. You know? Yeah. Okay, good. There are no objections, as there should be. <laughs> My brother. Our denial. I'm not in denial, bro. Not in denial bread that bread emote's so cute man hmm more stories hmm 
But oh yeah. I guess I want to talk more about like that Netflix comedy special Inside by Bo Burnham. I want to talk about it a little bit more because like it's one of like the best watches I, like on Netflix I've seen in a while. Like in my opinion, it's just a mass like I really like it. Masterpiece, I guess. But so good like I got hooked to it. Kala can confirm this. <laughs> Kala in chat. First episode so scuffed. There's like no main point. It's like so scattered all over the place. But you know, it's funny that way. Learning. I should have planned it more. Like I was I planned a lot of stuff. But like when it started, I just mental block. Yeah, that's the word mental block i tend to get mental blocks are one of the worst feelings in my opinion like i would have planned something out like oh i'm gonna talk about this like example like when i'm working on ideas for my channel sometimes i get mental block and like it's really not the greatest feeling i actually get frustrated by it sometimes like most of the time because like there's a lot of stuff that i want to plan and think about but i can't for whatever reason i guess self-doubt's one of them still having a little bit trouble like dealing with the whole self-doubt and self-confidence thing but we're getting there slowly but surely we're getting there I hope it doesn't show sometimes on stream. <laughs> I try to make it like I try to make myself appear super confident and planned on stream. And this like one of the rare instances where I'm not 100 <laughs> percent. You you get me? <laughs> if that makes sense to you. Not 100 percent because again I'm slightly mental block, but it's okay. Well, I'll make sure to learn from it. I'll and as for the dot cast, like this podcast thing in general, I don't know whether to make it like per request or weekly. I kind of want to make it weekly, but I'm still thinking about it. You know. And it's gonna take me a few days or weeks to think about it. And yes, chat, the next episodes of Dotcast are gonna have guests. <laughs> and my brother just said, like me. I mean, my brother makes content on YouTube. I would suggest you write it down or type it. Yeah. True, nice, Mark. True. I should have, like, written down or typed down like my ideas to talk about but i was i got too cocky you know like i was like oh, it's fine i got this but then when it's when the stream started look where we look what happened so that's the lesson you can take from this never get too cocky chat do not get too cocky with preparing guests pog i mean i still get a lot of mental block but seeing a schematic helps that's true nice mark like i'm more of a visual learner like than a audit like than audio like visual schematics and stuff like that they help me a lot wait hang on my my dog just my dog entered the bathroom and i need to get him out
back. Sorry about that. But, but yeah, guests. I won't reveal who I'm planning yet, but there will be guests on the succeeding episodes. Back on the topic of mental block, though, as Nice Mark said, seeing a visual cue really, truly does help a lot. So I guess that's my tip. Like, Nice Mark's tip is really, really helpful. Like, listing down key notes, I guess, to help you remember. <laughs> yeah. So, mental block sucks, TLDR. On to the next topic. Hmm. Have eye contact with chat? Sheesh. I'm open to questions, by the way, chat. Like, you can ask me questions in the chat. There's sort of Q&A. There can be like a Q&A segment, I guess. <laughs> Q&A videos, like... They seem to be the go-to, uh, like, video stream idea when a milestone is hit. Hey, Dotsu also going. Hey, Mel, welcome to the chat. What's up, my guy? It's the first episode of the podcast or Dotcast. Shout out to Mega Crunks for the name. It's because, like, I, I started a community challenge and we hit it, like, last night. I didn't expect us to hit it like that early, but you know, miracles happen if you can consider this one. I was just talking about some of my lore, what like I've been up to before I became a streamer. But I'm not gonna say what inspired me to start streaming yet. It's gonna be a topic for another episode with a guest. If this is the first one, what do I normally do? I normally play variety of games. Like, I play mainly FPS games, survival horror games, stuff like that. Like, main one, a mainstay on my channel at the moment is Dead by Daylight. And for some reason, people are saying I'm a DBD addict when I'm really not. <laughs> but yeah, I play a lot of FPS games. As they are my favorite genre. Still won't admit it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. But I've always, ever since I was a kid, like, I've always been into, like, when I discovered, like, YouTube, like, streaming and stuff, I always wanted, I always thought, like, I want to be like one of them you know opinion on roblox more specifically arsenal Ooh, roblox where do i begin uh like i played that a lot when i was a child uh arsenal that's the fps game there right it's okay i guess like i play it when I got nothing else to do, like, the past time, but I don't really play it, like, every day, like, you know? I mainly just play it the past time. I don't think I'll ever stream it. Never plan to, never will. <laughs> but yeah, back on the topic, when I was a kid, I always wanted to be, like, content creation, I guess that's the word I get used. Content creation... Because I always found it amazing that all these people, like, from all across the globe are able to share, like, their interests and their, their interests and their experiences through the internet. I've always loved that concept when I was young. And yeah, ever since then, ever, I always wanted to do this and to be in a position where I'm actually doing it already. It's amazing, man. Like, I still sometimes find it hard to grasp that I'm actually a Twitch affiliate now. Sometimes, but I know it's reality. 
100 follower Roblox stream. You made a promise to chat. Did I ever? Someone clipped me on that. Someone sent a clip. I don't remember seeing that. My dog's here again. This is so scuffed, but I love it. I guess, in a way, the scuffedness is good. Because it makes it feel like raw. Like we're just having a conversation and not a whole ass like stream. Like just a conversation with you and the ch me and the chat and everyone who's listening to this. Actually, Dotcast, I originally planned it to be like a like pre-recorded then i'll just like upload it to youtube or any other video uploading service but then i actually talked to darles about this and then she she told me that she thinks it would be like a better idea to like a just chatting style stream and so far i think i really made the right decision where i just move it into a streaming thing hang on give me a sec I never made that promise to chat though, Kala. And back, um... Yeah, I never made that promise, I don't think, Kala. But yeah. Welcome, new viewers. Like, if this is your first time in the channel, just leave it in the background if you want, even. It's just a podcast, after all. Visuals are not that important for podcasts i mean i guess they are but mainly focused on the conversation mm. that's so lore is such a pug moment <laughs> it is that back on the lore side of stuff though like mainly stuff i watched on youtube that made me think that content creation was something i really wanted to do was like those like old those old like minecraft like videos you know what i mean like who's a what i can name from the top of my head i'm thinking mm. but yeah i watched like a lot of minecraft when i was younger and it really like inspired me but to like think about pursuing content creation so yeah shout out minecraft <laughs> mm. other thing i had a topic on my mind but i lost the idea Hmm. I really want to try like me a content creator is truly fun I know I'm so like gives me motivation you know entertain you guys entertain everyone who watches my streams and again like I, as i said earlier it opens up your creativity <clears throat> mm. Mm, another thing i guess one more thing about my lore from last year i learned how mental health is really one of the most like the most i think or what not one of but i guess the most important thing like during the whole stay inside quarantine thing like mental health like you really need to keep your mental health in check because <laughs> like if i'm being honest like anxiety and overthinking which I sadly suffer from most times. It's really hell. Like, it prevented me from 
seeing the bigger picture in certain things, you know? So I feel like if you ever need help or like mentally, please, please, please don't be like oh, me. Like don't do what I did last year. Don't like keep it in, you know? Please make sure you talk to someone. <laughs> Sorry it got a bit deep there, chat, but I really truly do like care about how y'all are doing. So yeah, if you're ever going through something, please you need to talk to someone. Don't make the mistakes I did. Mental health really is important and <laughs> Well that got deep again. Anyway. <laughs> oh, it's almost been an hour? I, I haven't even noticed. Yeah. I've been talking for almost an hour now. Sheesh! Wholesome moment. Yeah. Wholesome Datsu. Sheesh! Hmm. I'm thinking. I guess uh, one thing about being a content creator, another thing, I think it's important that we should like bonus from our real life ones because in this day and age, I feel like people will do like the most insane stuff and type of like activities to get famous online you know and i feel like that shouldn't be the case because it's super it feels super disingenuine and it truly is like it's kind of unhealthy i feel like like some of the stuff people would even think to do to get famous online is crazy and that's why i feel like it's important to like separate your like online persona or your online activities with like your real one like your IRL you I guess that's the word I could use not the best when it comes to wording stuff but you know I like to get my thoughts out there as you can see loading up my stream manager on my phone be sure hmm So yeah, if if anyone who wants to become a content creator is watching or is one, I feel like that's a lesson. Like, make sure that you you don't get like fully engulfed with like da, da, da. the oh thank you Mel for the follow thank you so much my guy let me give you a shout out. Sorry if it's I'm wording it wrong, but you get me, chat. Like, I feel like it's important to not get like caught up with all the analytics side of things or like, and you know, yeah, just have fun. Like, I do this whole like streaming thing just for fun. Like, I don't really usually think about analytics or like if I see like my some like my stats. I don't really pay attention. All right, no, thank you. Thank you for that. Like, I feel like so many people are caught up with wanting to be famous that they just lose like who they are as a person. And I guess that's one of my biggest fears too. Like, I don't want to lose like as a lose who I am for like a purpose of like getting famous like i don't want to lose my personality i don't want to become fake like i don't want to become disingenuine that's the word i don't want to become disingenuine that's one of my fears i guess you could call not really scared of it but you know always keep in mind that at the end of the day the numbers are just numbers and like Let's be honest, the thing that I guess for most people, I don't know for all, but the thing that 
started that that drove you to my content creators who are watching this the thing that drove you to start streaming was to share like your ideas and your personality and gameplay with the world and you just did it because you thought it would be fun and i feel like the fun aspect is the most important part being a streamer is to make sure you have fun while doing it <laughs> and like a thing that makes streaming more fun for me is the gang 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 you know like <laughs> playing games with you guys on stream talking to you just talking to you the gang is so fun and like it makes me think like this all stemmed from the fact that we all started streaming and it's amazing how like twitch and like the internet and streaming can bring people together It brings it made a whole like support system and like oh, that makes sense, whatever. You know what I mean? Like together I feel like we can do anything. That's the gang. Thank you, Comic Cult, for the sub! Sheesh! Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, shout out gang gang. Check out the link tree if you haven't. Might link it in chat for everyone. Yeah. I'm gonna give a huge shout out to the gang. Thank you, Comic Alt, for this. Oh, man. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, here's the gang's link tree. Make sure, like, we all, they all make great content. Shout out, gang, gang. Y'all, y'all inspire me every day. All of you. Like, to continue. And to make content. I'll, I'll always be grateful for you guys. Another wholesome dot moment. <laughs> Sorry if my thoughts are like so scattered all over the place chat. I promise. Next one will be more organized. Duck Mogus. Don't tempt me to play that Kala. Shout out Kala by the way. I, I If you guys wonder why I never shout him out. It's because... He makes content on YouTube. His videos are pretty funny, by the way. Check him out if you can. He makes content for Team Fortress 2. What? Doc Mogus. Kala also has been bugging me, like, to play Team Fortress 2. <laughs> TF2, how could I ever forget about TF2? That's like one of my... That's one of the most important games when I was growing up. Like, I played that game so much. Such a fun game. Sadly, like, I've... I kind of got burnt out from it because it was my main game for about three to four years. Oh, yeah, if you haven't tried TF2, it's free and it's really fun. But at the moment, it's kind of in a rough place because let's be honest, like Valve's anti-cheat at the moment isn't really doing its job, sadly. Kala can attest to that. Oh yeah, another thing for like content for my experience of being a content creator was like nostalgia though true anyways another experience like i guess i'm overthinking of it but an experience that i guess most of us con like content creators are the people that i guess like people that doubt you you know when and people doubt that you can do it like for me personally i feel like you should treat like people who doubt you on what you do like you should treat that as motivation to like prove them wrong and like prove people like i can do this you know 
but yes doubters is really like a big thing when you become a streamer youtuber whatever field you decide to choose there will always be people who doubt you and i feel like they kind of play an important role on it too like they play an, an important role on it like you may wonder how but by like because of like them doubting you you kind of get more motivated to to make like to prove them wrong and to keep pursuing it to show like everyone that it's possible that you can handle it and that you can do it so please like don't let people doubting you like get to your head you know because you can do it yes <laughs> my thoughts are so scattered Mm. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so much wholesome moments. <clears throat> but check Cal out if you haven't. Makes great content on videos. Water. water. I'm out of water, actually. I should go refill my pitcher. Be right back. I'm gonna get water, chat. Because, as you can see, it's empty. I'm forgetting to refill on pack chat. I'm working on my next video right now. While watching the stream. Sheesh, sheesh. Can't wait for that, Kala. Okay. I'm forgetting to refill. <laughs> I'm just so invested in it. Like the chat and the podcast. I forgot, man. Hmm. Water is one of the best drinks, honestly, and it's really important. Well, obviously, because it keeps you alive. <laughs> no, why am I tired of spewing common information now? Hmm. I guess we can sort of hydrate Pog through. I guess I could like. Before I end the first episode, I could answer like a few questions, I guess. If y'all were wondering anything, because I feel like I should start wrapping up because I kind of all my ideas that I wanted to talk about are kind of over with. Like, I don't have anything else much to say. So we could do like a couple questions before I go, you know. Short pilot, short first episode. We could do a few questions before I end this, the first episode. So now's the time to ask chat if you all have any questions. Why dot? Oh, 
Well, oh wait, let's start. Sorry, I, I was watching the. Let's start with Mel's question. What made you start streaming? Hmm, that's actually. That's gonna be the whole topic of the next episode. Actually, I'm gonna have guests on it too. So, I guess for that question, <laughs> just tune into the next podcast episode. Probably gonna be by this next weekend. But yeah, what made me start streaming? That's gonna be the main topic for the next episode. How was stream? Small's question. How was streaming for you? Well. Streaming for me, at first, I guess, the first few streams, I was kind of like, if you rewatch some of the VODs, I'm not sure if they're still up, but the VODs, like, you could tell that I was pretty nervous when talking to chat, if I'm being honest. And there were certain dead, like, radio silent moments where it just went dead air, like, I wasn't talking as much to chat. But after I got more into the groove of streaming, it became it became like super natural and fun. Uh yeah. So at the start, I was it was pretty nerve-wracking, but streaming for me right now as of now, it's really fun and I am having and I will be well doing it more consistently. Hi Fretz, welcome. Welcome. We're doing a Q&A section, wrapping up the my thoughts of the first episode. Nice Mark's question. Why dot? Okay. I think this is gonna be... Sit down. Make sure you're comfortable, chat. Because this is gonna be a pretty... Pretty... Uh, long? Not long, but a story, I guess. So... Sorry, my monitor just blacked out. It all started when on uh, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Sorry, my brother was asking me a question. Seventh grade. Well, 2017. I didn't really have like a consistent name to my online aliases at that point. Like... I went by many names, which I can't even remember because there were so many. Some edgy, but anyways, my fr that was my brother in the background, by the way. My friends, like mid-2017, they asked me to download an... Wait, actually, yeah. They asked me to download an app called Discord. It was a pretty sm Discord was a small app at the time, like... You know, I didn't know what it was, but they asked me to download that so that we could like talk while we were playing games together. My first ever alias and Discord name was it's a joke. It's it's Darius. I won't go into why it's that, but that was like the first alias I had. Because it was like an inside joke with my friends about my name hey peter thank you for the lurk about my name and then a few months later i thought i want to shorten that you know so it became oh oh no sorry sorry i accidentally pressed down and then anyways where was i a few months later i decided like you know i want to shorten that so i was thinking of like words where i could make it shorter and then i removed the e r and the r's and it became dice as in like you know i thought it was cool at the time but i kind of find it not so cool as in like i got the idea because of like this i this character this character from the game cuphead whose name was king dice like I was like, wow, that's a really nice word. I want to use it. <laughs> so I did for like well, two to three months. That was my main alias. And then eventually I thought I got bored of it. So like I was like final name change. And I thought 
for a while. I thought for a while, actually. And then I took my... It came from the idea of my real nickname, D, as in D-E-E. -E. And then I was thinking, what's a three-letter word that's close to that? And then eventually I came across the word dot. And that's where we are today, guys. So it really is a long story of how I wanted to shorten my first ever alias. And eventually it became dot. I wanted to change my name again, like last year. But then too many so many people online and even in my real life, like they already know me by dot, so I can't really change it. <laughs> so that's just gonna be my permanent like alias no dot. It's short and sweet actually. I love the word dot. What was the question? Kala. Any more streams for today you got planned or no? Uh no, I do not have any more streams today. This is just gonna be every Sunday maybe I'll make dot cast every Sunday. I don't know. But yeah, that was the today this was the only stream planned for today. Uh any more any more questions before I end? Because we're just wrapping up. The VOD will be up. I forgot to hit record. I am so sorry. I'll find a way to download the Twitch VOD. I'm gonna make a YouTube channel where I can upload the DotCast episodes. So yeah. Any more last questions before we finish? I'm so unprepared. Me too, friends. <laughs> We're just doing wrapping up. A few more questions. I realized why I wasn't getting my notification sound. I forgot to turn chatty on. Sheesh. So scuffed. Chatty will be on next time though. I promise. And do a few more rounds of questions. I finally got to properly explain the lore of Dot though. I'm happy about that. I should probably update my... my uh status on discord my about me but yeah i not think of anything right now <laughs> it'd be like that though like mental block brain fart r.i.p opinion on cats i love cats actually in general i love most animals like i think animals are great but if I were to list the animal I don't like, it would be cockroaches. <laughs> Oof, careful now. <laughs> careful now. But I love most I love animals. Just doing rap. Careful now. <laughs> Hmm, what's your favorite color? Well, my favorite color, hang on. Uh, I'm just knocking, I think, chat. Let me check. Who did it? Who did it? Oh, Cal, I see you now. Anyways, my favorite color, I guess. Well, before, like a few months ago, it was blue. But I feel so bad for every. It gets me every time. I don't know why. Anyways, a few months ago, it was blue. But like when I started streaming, it became that like light pink thing. Like the one on my icon, like the color scheme of my icon, that light pink. I really like it now because I guess it's associated with my brand. But yeah, that light shade of pink. I don't know what to call it. Let's just call it dot pink, yeah? Dot su pink. <laughs> dot su pink. Because I don't think it has a name. Salmon, yeah. I guess it's salmon. Dot su pink. I like the sound of that. 
It's like peach as well. True. Salmon is pretty accurate. Atsu pink. I think like we're gonna end it here, guys. We're gonna end the first episode of Dotcast here. Unless, yeah, we're just gonna. I I feel like we've wrapped. I've wrapped it all up. So yeah, that's the end of the first episode. F U A Dotsu like Salmon as well. Yeah, I do. I mean, yeah, that's the and just gonna be the end of the first ep the pilot episode. Kind of scuffed, kind of rough around the edges, but you know, it's part of. It's a new series, so. Yeah. Also, if you if you guys haven't noticed the whole like, the whole aesthetic around I built like the whole like theme and aesthetic of like. The design of dot dot cast around Studio Ghibli movies, it's like they. I feel like the scenery in those movies are just so beautiful, and I kind of wanted to use like some of the backgrounds. Just like the design. Anyways, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in for the first ever pilot episode of Dot Cast. Have a ton of fun. This will definitely be a a regular on my channel. Thank you, small. Thank you, Pretz. Thank you, everyone who watched and participated. I really loved it. This will be a regular thing. So, give us a hint on Twitter so we can prep. Yeah, this is out of the blue. I was actually thinking of like moving it to another day. I'm sorry, I'm late. No, it's fine, Pretz. It's fine. I was thinking of moving it to another day, but then last minute, like a few hours ago, I was just like, you know what? Screw it, we're gonna go live. <laughs> I need to become more organized too, honestly. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and listening to this. And I'll see you on the next episode. The topic, which was suggested by our... By Pretz, actually, is what made you become a streamer. And I'm gonna have guests on that. Bye, Mel. Bye, Pretz. But yeah. Tune in on the next one. There's gonna be special guests. I won't say who, but I think y'all know already. <laughs> I think y'all can predict who is gonna be. But yeah, there will be guests. Anyways, bye guys. See you on the next episode of Dotcast and stay safe. Pokey, hey yo, na 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 na, na, <laughs> na, na. <laughs>